kidnapped Sarah. Yeah. That's exactly, I feel like I said to him, I said, I know that you think that you're just, well, I don't know what you think, but I don't think you understand right now how scary this is for me, so what you need to do is we need to drive away and not do it again. Like, he didn't, and it really looked like he didn't, like we are talking about having a, having a place where, you know, men feel like they can ask questions, and I mean, what he was doing, he fucked up. Yeah. But, he really, it didn't occur to him that I was scared. Yeah. Like it occurred to him that maybe I was projecting him, or maybe I was a bitch, or maybe yeah. I wanted to hang out with him but was shy. He went annoyed. Exactly, yeah. went through all the things of like, what could this girl be feeling? But he never once thought I'd be scared. scared. I know he didn't. Yeah, and I know a lot of guys do it to scare you, but he right. didn't. And I was like, wow, he really doesn't get it. I and think a lot of that. guys actually do do it to pursue you. Like yeah. if we think yeah. about um, like the movie Hitch. <laughs> Yes. What is what is Hitch teaching men in that movie? Well, if a woman isn't naturally attracted to you, try harder. Right. Do more. <laughs> yeah. Right? Take Dog on elaborate her. dates. Yeah. Do more to impress her. And I think that that is actually a very dangerous line of thinking. Yes. For, for both for both partners. Agree. Yeah. For women, because, it, again, it can come off very threatening for us, yeah. where I don't think that's always the male intention. Well, we're, we're, we're saying no. And it's not being respected. Or hurt. Or hurt. It's being hurt as I need to set my game up. Right. It's which not is being the opposite. Exactly. <laughs> it's not being taken at yeah. face value. Which is like yeah. if I'm saying no, it's probably, it's because I need no. I need no. Yeah. Um, and then for men as well, like why do you want a woman that you have to give her the moon? Like yeah. if a woman is naturally yeah. attracted to you, that should be very partnership. Yeah. You shouldn't have Thank to you. do that much to keep a woman. Like right. a woman well, will naturally have interest in you. Sorry, I didn't meant to cut you off, but I think that stems from it's in a male's nature to chase. Obviously, you've yeah. always been taught that, like, they've been yeah, taught like, too. To yeah. You know, so if it's too easy, it's not worth having. Yeah. But if she's, like, you know, a little stubborn at first, you can just kind of open her up by chasing her. And sometimes that's not, obviously, always the right way to go about it because yeah. a lot of the times if we're not interested, we're not interested. No matter how much you try to chase us, yeah. and you need that. And then at, and at a certain point, the chase starts to become a either threatening right, or, or like harassment. Yeah, yeah, it's just uncomfortable after a certain, like at a certain time you're just kind of like, okay, I said no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like, I don't know how I have to spell this out for you. Right, like, but, yeah. how many different ways right. can I reject right. you at this point? And then they, it's just kind of like them, you know, they kind of, their go-to response is like, oh, well, you're a bitch. It's right. Like, <laughs> You, like yes. the harshest way I could find it. Yeah. Be clear. Because I've tried 10 very polite, respectful ways yeah. to say, um, this is flattering, but I'm not interested. Thank you so much. Best of luck. No. And it's not being received right. or yeah. heard. So now I have to be like, fuck. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> now I have to be the bitch you just called. And they're like, where did that come from? And like, now I'm the yeah. bitch. And now I'm the bitch, bitch being left alone. Right. right. So I will. Yeah. I actually wrote on Twitter the other day after, you know, some. Oh, I had to go to a, a party as a. And it was a Halloween, like a pre Halloween thing. So I just had like little cat ears. Oh, you and, look like, cute. I saw that picture, yeah. Well, but try walking down the street. Totally. In a patriarchal society with yeah. cat ears on. And oh, I almost oh, lost it. So many men who were like, meow. Like, oh my god, that's so funny. No one else has done that. That's hilarious. You're so clever. And I did it, but when I got home, I was just like, you know, honest to God, truth is like, women just want to be left alone. Yeah. And for the most part, men in general, not all of them, but like society, the male society just doesn't respect us enough to do it. Well, and I think it's an interesting thing that you're talking about, like, how men are socialized, like the chase, and it's like even like I read a ton of stuff. I find dating culture really it's fascinating, dating culture. <laughs> and, it, and they tell they you know it's in a man's nature to pursue and all that, but also that they do encourage. And a lot of the stuff is really outdated. Like the most iconic and sort of like infamous, you know, the rules. Like here's what you need to do for women, but they do sort of even modern dating books that are somewhat more respected do tell women to sort of put the brakes on and do, mm -hmm. I mean, so I think that yeah. it can be confusing for you. Yeah. Exactly. So it's like, you yeah. really like a guy, yeah. them are like, hey, I mean, a lot of that stuff, I mean, I don't subscribe to any of that. It's confusing for you. Yeah. Exactly. It's confusing for Everyone, both. everyone's yeah. like, no, what do women really do? Stand. Yeah. No one feels like they can act on their instincts or just kind of own whatever it is that they're feeling in the moment because 
all of a sudden culture has taught us to question like well what signal am I sending? Right. Yeah. Where it should just be like what am I doing? That's what like, that's right. the signal I'm sending. Like if you show that yeah. man that you're interested and then yeah. let's say a couple days later if he just dips and isn't interested anymore yeah. and then you're like, Oh shit, I was too a bit yeah, right. I should have been less available. Yeah, but yeah. at the same time, I'm like, my God, I'm 31. I don't have time right. to yeah. shit around right. about what I want and what I don't want. Yeah, no, that's where I'm at. And like, if I'm interested in someone, I show it. Yeah. And if they're trying, they want to play that game, then I don't, I don't have time for that. I want to be able to show I'm interested. And if they're interested, they show me they're interested. Yeah. And then we, we can both happily proceed as two people who are interested in each other. Yeah. <laughs> may or may not be compatible. And if that's a couple <laughs> days of like a great couple days and then it ends, like don't get me wrong, I'll definitely look back on it and be like, man, I wish that was more than a few days. Yeah. But like at the same time, I feel like uh, yeah. that's easier than trying to play these difficult games and then figure out if that makes someone stay. Right. Yeah. Like, I don't like that whole game, which I did for a very long time of like, well, what do I have to do to like get this person to like me and like playing that weird cat and mouse mm -hmm. game and then I think when I turned 30 I was just like fuck it I'm like tired I'm so tired <laughs> I'm, I'm so tired, tired. I, I can't I don't yeah I don't have the time I'm busy I'm tired um, I'm just gonna be me and like whoever's in with that is in with that yeah, yeah. I, and I think that but like I totally agree and I feel like I've definitely gotten more like that but when I was dating Adrian and seeing this girl for a couple months and it was almost too like, here's our heart, <laughs> here's how we feel, there's no, like, it's all transparent. I could see that. Yeah. <laughs> I could see that. I, I had, like, casually dated girls before, but I had never really, like, been, like, just dating one person, you know? So, and she had only ever dated women. So I think it was a, it was an interesting sort of thing of negotiating that, because she was used to her relationships accelerating really quickly. Yeah. Like, they were staying over, like, spent yeah. every week, and I was like, oh, like, it, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not. I'm not exactly that. that. Yeah. 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 It is interesting how that works, though. When you. Yeah, I don't know. It's complicated. And I think as you get older, you get more hesitant about that. My my yeah. younger relationships were all very fast. Oh, yeah. 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 Same. I moved in with someone yeah. like five weeks in. Like, yeah. In yeah. Years, and lived yeah. with my ex was the worst. Like you just yeah. kind of feel so stifled and just kind of like it is suffocating. Even though yeah. you love and care about that person, it's just too fast. You so, did yeah. get a relationship time yeah. to kind of naturally exactly. and organically get like to that blossom. point. Yeah. You're just yeah. like this makes financial sense. Yeah. And, like, <laughs> relationship of yeah, you know, yeah. how quickly you achieve that emotional intimacy of like this is how we feel and I think but some for some relationships it's totally appropriate like yeah. day three and Sometimes other relationships it, works. it needs to be more gradual I right. think it just depends and just where you are in your yeah. life right I feel like there's always like these windows of time where I'm like super open to a relationship yeah. yeah and then like there's these windows of time where it wouldn't matter who came along I just am very shut because I'm because something else has my attention yeah. or I'm doing, you know, yep. trying to build right. the female condition.com. <laughs> <laughs> Shameless marketing plug. Right. That makes me, I'm like, I could meet like the man of my dreams right and now. And I'm like, oh my God, I love you. But I just need you to sit in the back yeah. for like one second because right. I'm going right now. <laughs> you know, there's like a difference between, obviously like maintaining a relationship is still work, but you like have done the work, you've built the foundation so you can get each partner can get busy and like still do the work to maintain and then sort of jump back in and but like starting and like building a relationship it's when hard. you're in a you know transitional period of your life or just um, you know sort of career focused part of your life you're just trying it's to so figure it hard. out you yeah. know yeah. you can't yeah. figure it out with someone else build yeah, one sounds thing crazy, no you just can't true. you have to figure out yourself first and then yeah. I get accused you know. of changing personalities a lot. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think I'm just always kind of, I think my core stays the same, but I am always shifting. I'm always on different missions. I'm always caring about different things. Yeah. I'm always on the move. Yeah. And men do that. They're like, well, you aren't the person that I Yeah, met. exactly. Like, I know. Yeah. Like, That's I, like the one yeah. thing I can't promise. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it's like I, I evolve and I evolve a, like often. Right. And I yeah. Yeah. hope evolution is a good yeah. thing. But. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the person that they met three months ago and the person that I am now yeah. might not always be yeah. a great fit. Yeah. Hey.
Don't apologize. Um, we're going to close for today, but thank you guys for watching. Um, as always, for more feminist content, thefemalecondition.com.